one of the biggest, baddest pro wrestlers in all of Japan. Get out of here, man. Let's get out of here. We can't run over. <laughs> My finisher is the gun stun, similar to RKO. Similar, but I do it better. I have the grenade, corner splash. My main one is called the Bad Luck 4. I got a phone call from my brother, Devito. I was serving in the military, and he was in college playing football. He said, we're going to be wrestlers after all this. I said, all right. Well, he had to go tell my father first. <laughs> Ask my father first. Came to Japan to play rugby. When rugby finished, the opportunity came up, so I took the chance and ran over. One of our bosses told us there was another Tongan boy coming. When we met up, little did we know we're actually family <laughs> from the same village. We put up some pictures of ourselves up on Facebook, and our family commented that we're, we're related, that we're cousins. I remember him going to me, man, you're a different type of Tongan. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant, but he goes, the American Tongans and the Tongans from New Zealand different. There's more love in New Zealand, that's why. <laughs> I meant accent. How <laughs> <laughs> it feels to be great. Well, I smell you, Rock. Right? I smell you real good. We are in the Sumo Arena, Ryokoku. This place is where all the champions are made. We average from between 6,000 to 12,000 in every show, but here at the Real Coco Arena, we uh, have 10,000 people. Fresh TV, Kakuyi! Yeah. Fresh TV, Kakuyi! Keep your fresh! Biggest reasons we uh, became really appealing to all the fans and the rest of the world was what they saw in the ring is how we are uh, outside of the ring. All the way from New York. Keep up pressing! <laughs> <laughs> They get tattoos on my face paint. I mean, that's permanent. Japan, it's our second home. And I've been here 17 years. You know, polys are huge, and uh, everything in Japan is made for Japanese side. So, so. Some polys are huge. <laughs> some. <laughs> He's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta spend time here to understand. Yeah, it's why we love this place. When I first landed here, I never thought this place would be the way it was, because I had a different view of what Japan would look like. I was expecting everybody to be in kimonos and carrying samurai swords around, so. Yeah, man, I was expecting to see some ninjas, some ninja stars get thrown somewhere. I was wrong. Oh, man, if you can see, I love my food. <laughs> <laughs> and mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> the food, man, it's very different. Japan has very different tastes. Uh, some of the delicacies that we like to eat is uh, raw horse. Raw horse. <laughs> that was one of the shocking things I, I, I felt when I came here. Raw horse, I mean, raw horse. I, I eat it cooked, but... They eat it raw, and it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Their food is art here. The way they prepare it is, is pure It's an art, art form, art yes. form. So the people here are very respectful. Uh, I, I believe they're similar to us. Polys are very nice to everybody. Yeah. You know, the manners is phenomenal. You know, yeah. Yeah. If you're looking for help, the Japanese will help you. If you decide to come to Japan, don't predetermine what you're going to like here. You know, come here, With an try open everything mind, huh? new. You know, eat new things. Because if you look look forward to it, you're gonna love it.